Hey guys, we're here at the Electric Vehicle Rally and Car Show. People here are really passionate about their electric vehicles, so let's start talking to them. They come in all shapes, makes, and sizes. But the cars here have one thing in common, and it's not gasoline. It's like driving a race car. <laughs> they all run on electricity. Once a year, fans get together across the U.S. to celebrate these electric riding machines at National Plug-In Day. This is a gathering of the general public to meet enthusiasts like myself, people who actually own these cars. We're in AP Environmental Science at school, and so our teacher sends out like a bunch of events that we could go to because they're required for the class, and so we thought this would be a fun one to come to. Today, there's even some electric two-wheelers. We are very excited to try our electric bikes, so we drove here and uh, we bring all our helmets. <laughs> some vehicles are new, but many are older models converted by their owners. It's very do-yourself, hands-on, Tom Seidel is with the Electric Auto Association. We've been doing this rally for 40 years since 1972. So back in 1972, the way you got an electric car is you made it yourself. So just what is an electric car? It's one that doesn't run on a combustible gas engine. Instead, it gets its juice from electric batteries and you charge them by plugging in at home or at a charging station. Electric cars are, for the most part, they're a more efficient drivetrain for one. An electric motor is more efficient than an internal combustion engine. You can save burning gasoline and pollute the uh, air and just go electric and uh, you can recharge all the time for the lifetime of the bike. The paint job, it tends to get attention. It's um, obviously uh, lightning bolt inspired, and I figured that was fitting for an electric car. This EV is a converted sports car built for performance. By looking at this, it looks like a lot of stuff, and it looks a little bit complicated. Can you tell us about it? That's the beauty of an electric car. It really is not nearly as complicated as, as it seems. All you have is you got a battery source, a power source, a controller which regulates that power source, and an electric motor which is in the middle. Uh, you don't have an ignition system, you don't have a cooling system. It took about 14 months to turn this baby into a green machine. The thing I enjoy most about working on this car is I can work on it for hours and I don't have grease all over my hands. And it's a very clean process. Though not mainstream yet, EVs have already racked up about 200 million miles on U.S. roads. Part of the mission of Electric Auto Association is to try to educate the general public on what kind of mileage can you really get, what does it really mean to charge the car. Some are designed for longer commutes. Some vehicles are designed just to get you down the street. Well, this is a unique car or motorcycle, you said, to be motorcycle. exact. It's technically a motorcycle. It's, it's, it really is kind of a car, but it's technically legally in the eyes of California. It's a Three motorcycle. Three wheels motorcycle. Mm -hmm. Right. So let's talk about the recycled aspect, because okay. looking at some car logos, so tell us about okay. how recycling played a role in making this car. Okay, well, uh, obviously the signs are recycled, leftover road signs. Almost all the metal in it is used or recycled. The bed of the truck is actually, uh, used to be my dining room table. <laughs> so you're really reusing so here. So I cut it up and, <laughs> and used it. This specially constructed vehicle needs a few more things, like headlights and taillights to be road ready. But these two-wheeled wonders already are. Electric light vehicle. Yes. So what exactly does that mean? So electric meaning it runs on a motor, which is electric. Light means you can carry it with Literally you wherever light. you want to go. Literally, light. These electric bikes are all of the above, and Kumar Ganapathy with ELV Motors is showing us a few. So we have two different electric bikes right here, different sizes, different weights. So let's start with this one. Can you tell us about it? So the Velo Mini is built more for the commuter. This is a folding electric bike. Uh, it weighs about 30 pounds. This is a larger bicycle. This is more for short distance commuting. This has a range of about 20 miles per battery. If you know how to ride a bicycle, this is, this is the, the mode of transportation for you. So because these aren't just your average bike, is there any trick to riding them? Not at all. If you know how to ride a bicycle, it's easy to get on it. You turn a little throttle, and the more you throttle, the faster it goes. So should we try it? Go right ahead. All right. OK, let's take her for a spin. Well, 
I'll tell you one thing, riding a bike has never been so easy and fun at the same time. And I'm not the only fan. I've learned that I really want an electric bike. Uh-oh, parents, are you listening? <laughs> we can't forget about the bigger two-wheeled version, too. So this is not something you see every day, and that is for sure. So tell us about this electric motorcycle. So this is a, an electric motorcycle conversion I did about two years ago. I um, didn't know what I was doing <laughs> at all. So started from not knowing anything about electricity, uh, about motorcycles really even. The motor is over here. The motor is actually in the hub. It has lithium ion batteries in it. It has about 36 of them. This is the motor controller and safety system. It doesn't have a charger. So an interesting thing about motorcycles as opposed to say cars is that there's not a whole lot of room. So the charger is not on, on the bike. It's in my backpack. So for this crowd, it's been an inspiring day to both share and learn more about electric cars. From an eco standpoint, no gasoline, no emissions, clean riding vehicles. How far they've come? It's only folks like this that kind of, uh, um, kind of lead, the way, lead the way for the rest of us. And how far they'll go? I think I've definitely started a trend around campus driving this around. One thing's for sure. It looks like electric vehicles are finally here to stay.